हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम यू ऑल एट आर यूट्यूब चैनल आई पंकज चावला वंस अगेन आई एम हियर टू शेयर नॉलेज विद यू इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी वर डिस्कस अबाउट वन ऑफ द मेथड्स ऑफ जिगलर निकोलस ट्रेनिंग मेथड फॉर पीआईडी कंट्रोलर वी लर्नड कंप्लीट प्रोसेस ऑफ दैट मेथड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू अप्लाई इट ऑन वन ऑफ द न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम एंड ऑब्जर्व द रेस्पॉन्स टू स्पॉट द इफेक्ट ऑफ पी कंट्रोलर पैरामीटर्स evolution with the help of jigler nicolas training method let's start for today's discussion we assume the function of the plant is k upon s cube plus 3s square plus s along with the unity feedback system of a control system as shown to start the process of the method first we need to define the characteristic equation from the given problem the denominator polynomial of the transfer function defines the characteristic equation as shown then with the help of ruth hurwitz we want to calculate the value of kcr and pcr critical value of gain and period of oscillation respectively based on these values and along with this table evaluate the value of pid controller parameter then observe the effect on response to begin with the method set ki kd equal to 0 and gain of the system k consider to be equal to kp determine the range of kp according to ruth hurwitz as we already learned about root hurwitz in the previous class so for the calculated characters equation we have root array like this element in the first column of the array should be greater than 0 according to this we have kp should be greater than 0 or less than 3 it means the upper limit of kp is 3 so the kp represented by kcr when it equals to 3 this value of kp defines the critical gain of the system at which system responds sustained oscillation let's see the response of the system in matlab represent the gain by kcr equal to 3 once you open a matlab open a script file and write the code like this we discussed these basic steps of code to obtain the response of the system many times in previous classes please refer them for conceptual study to observe the response we run this file and get the response over here like this as we can easily observe that the response of the system sustain oscillation now we want to find the value of pcr at this gain value to find it we need to define the auxiliary equation from the ruth array as i do here as in this situation if we put kp equal to 3 in the array so the third row of the array will become zero so the auxiliary equation obtains from the second row like this from the auxiliary equation we need to determine the value of s as we know in s domain s define equal to j omega so from here the value of omega equal to 1 value of omega is given by 2 pi f where f is the frequency and it's a reciprocal of pcr that's a period of oscillation so the value of pcr calculated it becomes equal to 6.28 now with this value of kcr equal to 3 and pcr equal to 6.28 evaluate the value of kp ti and td concerning this table we include the step of evaluation of these parameters in matlab code itself as we can see here in this code file we define the controller by the equation kp into 1 plus 1 upon ti into s plus td into s and combined it with the system as we do in the previous classes by running this file we can simply observe the response of the system without a controller and with the controller so we can easily spot the value of settling time and rise time in both the cases and observe that settling time and rise time is improved in the case of system with the controller so in this way the ziegler nicolas training method for pid is utilized in the next class we will discuss more about it please stay tuned with us Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon as we keep on posting informative content like this. You can also get certification from Tishi to Research Center if you finish minimum of 10 videos from the playlist. To get more information about this, connect to us at tishi2@gmail.com.